You are welcome to today's video lesson with Bright Edu. In today's lesson, I'll be solving various practice questions that cut across the practical aspect of the Wyeck chemistry examination. Now, in the course of this video lesson, I'll be solving various questions step by step so that when you see them in your examination, you can be able to solve them without stress. So with all this said, let's get into the first practice question. And it says, a solution of trioxonitrate 5 acid contained 0.67 grams in 100 cn cube. Now let's proceed. 31 cn cube of this solution neutralized 25 cm cube of sodium trioxocarbonate for solution. Now the question now says calculate the concentration of sodium trioxocarbonate for. So that is the question. So first thing we have to do here is to be able to understand the question because this is very important we must understand the question and we have to take the first part of the question which is a solution of trioxonitrate 5 acid contained 0.67 grams in 100 cm cube so this is the first part of the question i have to take note of okay i have to take note of this part of the question so moving further then i said that 31 cm cube of this solution neutralized, 25 cm cube of this compound. Now, the question I'll say we should calculate the concentration of this compound called sodium trioxocarbonate 4, whereby the atomic masses of all the elements that makes up the compound were given, and they've given us the equation for reaction because this is very important. Because you know, this question is on titration. So, first thing we have to do here is to make sure we bring out the equation for titration. Okay, so I write now titration equation or titration or, or formula okay which is this it is c a v a over c b v b is equal to n a over n b so i have to tell you what each of the symbols mean we are Okay, where CA is simply called concentration. Now, I'm going to shorten the word concentration to just write conk. It still means concentration. Concentration of A here means acid and B here means base. So, concentration of acid in what unit? We have to be we have to be specific to which unit they are asking us to get the concentration. The concentration unit they are asking us to get is moles per dm cube. Because concentration can be expressed in various units. Concentration can be expressed in moles per dm cube. And also concentration can be expressed in grams per dm cube. But in this particular question, they are telling us to calculate the concentration of the acid or the base in moles per dm cube. So this is what we are interested in, okay? In moles per dm cube, where VA here means volume of acid, because A still means acid, whereby let's go into the other, which is CB. CB also means concentration of base, okay? In what? Moles per dm cube and VB here means volume of base. Okay, so the next question we ask ourselves what does NA and what does NB mean? This must be noted. NA here means number of moles of acid. This must be noted. As we progress in this class lesson, I'm going to explain better so that we can be able to understand perfectly how this works. Whereby num MB here means number of moles of base. So this equation first is something we must take note of when solving questions under this aspect 
of chemistry dealing with the titration so with all this said let's progress to the next aspect to solve this question okay guys moving further let's bring out the parameters we need to solve this question because i already said that this is the formula that will be noted when solving questions of this sort so first thing we have to do here is to be able to bring out our parameters and written down all the formulas or uh, the formula uh, needed and all the uh, uh, the meaning of all the parameters in the formula so first thing first we are having ca and we already know here that ca is called concentration of acid and the next is va volume of acid and the next is cb concentration of base and the next is vb volume of base and the next is number of moles of acid and the lastly number of moles of base how do we get all these parameters so much very easy first of all were we given the concentration of acid no how do we know that we were given and we're not given the concentration of acid in the look of those question for we to know a particular value that is in the form of concentration we will see moles per dm cube attached to that number and in the look of things i can't see any number here that has moles per dm cube so they did not give us the concentration of acid straightforward we have to calculate for it as we progress in this class lesson okay to understand what I'm, i'll be doing i already have a video lesson on stoichiometry that explains all these concepts okay because all these concept of titration are from the knowledge of stoichiometry so you go watch that video lesson i'm going to put the link in the description section so you watch the lesson meanwhile let's get into to solve this question so i'm going to write out the parameters that that is given before we now solve for other parameters that we're not giving for we now solve for the question they're asking us which is calculate the concentration of sodium trioxo carbonate four now first of all i have to say this in the look of things this compound written here is the acid because the acid at the base reacted to form salt and water but in some cases of neutralization it is not just salt and water that is formed okay a gas can be formed like carbon dioxide because of the way the reaction is carbon dioxide was formed so the point here is this it's not all neutralization reaction that just give us salt and water in some other case like in this case now a gas can be formed like co2 gas so the the base in this question okay is this compound okay which is sodium trioxocarbonate 4 is used as the base in this reaction so first thing we have to do here is to be able to write out our parameters and now straightforward we're not given a concentration of acid were we given the volume of acid yes we were given the volume of acid now they said 31 cm cube of this solution okay now let's read the question again it says a solution of this compound which is the acid contain this value which is gram 0.67 grams in 100 cm cube full stop 31 cm cube of this solution 31 cm cube of this solution which is the solution of the acid okay so volume of the acid is 31 cm cube we already know that volume is expressed in cm cube dm cube liters milliliters or meter cube as the case may be so in this context the volume was expressed in cm cube i know you'll be wondering why did i not use this volume for this acid this is not the volume that is used when solving or, or this is not the value that we put here when solving questions using this formula when i'm to use this value i'm going to tell you when i'm to use it so you have to take note of all these steps that are being followed that's why i'm taking it step by step so moving further for when we're giving concentration of acid no we're not giving because we don't see any value here that has most per dm cube but we have to solve for it as we progress and now the, the question now says calculate the concentration of sodium trioxo carbon four which is the base here and it is not given that is what we are looking for okay we are looking for the concentration of the base okay which is the concentration of sodium trioxocarbonate four so for the volume of the base when we give me volume of the base yes we are giving because they said that 31 cm cube of this solution neutralized 25 cm cube of this compound sodium trials of carbon 4 so the volume of the base is 25 cm cube whereby 
were we given the number of moles of acid and numbers of moles of this yes we're given how do we get this value we get these values from the balanced equation and you can see here they've given us the balanced reaction to this uh, uh to this saturation and it is between the acid and the base to give us salt water and a gas so in the look of things what's the number of moles of acid number of moles of acid it is the number that is standing in front of the acid and what's the acid here hno3 also called trioxonitrate 5 acid or aqua fortis that's the old name so in the look of things the number of moles of the acid will be two because that's the number that's standing in front of it and now looking at for this compound okay which is we are using it at the as the base now did you see any number standing in front no we did not so when we do not see any number we take it to be one you know there's an invisible one here that's how it is okay the coefficient now will now be one for the number of moles of base so guys moving further so you can see here that from the question we've written down all the parameters but we are to look for this as stated by the question which is concentration of the base and though they gave us parameters to solve for our concentration of acid which is what i'm seeing at the top part of the question i can just see two numbers they've gave they've given us so we can be able to solve for the concentration of the acid and which of the formula are we to apply to solve for the concentration of acid before we now use our formula to solve for the concentration of base because this is what we are looking for before we now solve for this now this must be noted that is why we have to remember the introductory aspect of chemistry that explains mole concept and we already know here that number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass this formula i'm writing here now must be noted number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass and same number of moles is equal to concentration okay times volume and in the look of things the volume given in this question is in this particular part of this question is it not in cm cube yes is in cm cube so whenever i see something like that i always divide by a thousand so for instance the volume given here was in dm cube i will not divide by a thousand so i already have video lesson that explains how all these formulas came on board and you can watch those video lesson in the stoichiometry lesson i said i'm going to put the link so you can go watch the lesson so first thing first these two formulas written now must be noted okay it must be noted why because we are trying to get for concentration of the acid we are trying to get for what the concentration of what the acid this this value we are trying to get for so since number of moles is equal to this and number of moles is equal to this so it means that both of these formulas can be equated together so when we do that what are we having mass over molar mass okay mass over molar mass will now be equal to concentration of the acid times the volume given in cm cube over a thousand yes because number of moles equals to this number of moles equals to this so both of the formula can be equated together so guys the next thing we want to do here is to make concentration of the acid subject of formula from this formula I want to derive now so it becomes mass times a thousand over molar mass okay times volume in what you need cm cube remember we are making this subject so it's going to be this times this over this times this so what happens next is concentration of acid will now be equal to what's the mass given the question what's the mass of the acid what's the mass of the acid it is 0.67 grams times what a thousand i believe you know why 1000 is here because the volume was expressed in cm cube if this volume was in dm cube we don't rem we remove 1000 so just say times one or times nothing so what's the molar mass of the acid now the acid basically is hno3 so how do we get the molar mass of this acid very easy we add all the atomic masses of the elements involved in the compound what's the first element here hydrogen okay hydrogen is the first element plus what's the other nitrogen 14 that's the atomic mass plus oxygen 16 times 3 so 1 plus 14 times or that plus 48 okay so 15 plus 48 that's 63 grams per mole that's the molar mass of the acid so 63 grams per mole times what's the volume the volume is what 100 cm cube so what are we doing here so it becomes 0 0.67 um times a thousand divided by 63 times 100 what's that 
zero point one zero six three um five moles per dm cube so this value we've got in is the concentration of the acid so we'll put this value here remember it's acid we are dealing with acid that is why it will be here so what do i have 0 0.10635 moles per dm cube so the tax we have to do here is to just get our concentration of the base by using our formula so in the look of things what do we do next we we'll make concentration of base subject so what do we do we say cb will not be equal to we are making this subject going to be like this times this times this over this times this so let's work so it's going to ca times va okay times nb over uh vb times what na so let's do that so let's get for the concentration of the base concentration of acid we already got is zero point one zero six three five times what's the volume of the acid 31 cm cube okay it is not this volume you have to use 100 no 100 is the volume for the standard flux do you get is not this 100 cm cube it is this value so just know the, the volume to use in your titration formula the volume will be smaller compared to the volume given but most of the times they can just you know because they want us to work that's why they had to just you know give us all the, these two parameters to be able to get our concentration of acid we have other cases whereby you'll be given the concentration of acid straight forward so you what you have to do just come here and solve but in this case of question because i have to you know explain various ways these questions can be asked that is why i have to select this question that i will solve for the concentration of acid first before we now use the formula to get whatever we are looking for okay we have other cases whereby we'll be giving this they may ask us to get volume of base as the case may be so you have to be very careful to bring out the parameters correctly so times what was the number of moles of base one remember how did you get that the base here is just one coefficient okay over what's the volume of the base the volume of the base is 25 cm cube times what number of moles sorry times what number of moles of acid it is two okay so what become concentration of the base so let's it's our calculator so we're having zero point 0 0.10635 times 31 times 1 over 25 times 2 that the concentration of the base becomes 0 0.065937 moles per dm cube remember why is expressing moles per dm cube because that's what the formula says okay concentration of base in moles per dm cube not grams per dm cube we have other cases whereby they'll be asking us to get concentration in grams per dm cube which i'm to provide soon in my other video lessons to be posted soon so meanwhile all these steps must be noted and if you find this video lesson helpful do well to click the subscribe button to this channel and also share these lessons with your friends okay share so as much you can so that you all can be able to you know understand all this concept without stress and if you are finding any aspect difficult do well to put in the comment section so i provide video lessons for those aspects you are finding difficulty in thanks for watching